Good afternoon guys, this is again your Prof. Zeus and I'd like to welcome you to another session here in Intermediate Accounting Part 2. So we're still in the current liability section and for this afternoon we'll be discussing about premiums liability. Okay, so what is a premium? Guys, if you would remember, whenever you buy Happy Meal or your, your, your siblings, your younger siblings would buy Happy Meal, there's a corresponding toy, right? That is what we call, that is an example of a premium. Okay, now... McDonald's bought those premiums, so therefore it has a cost, and therefore uh, it also has to be recovered by McDonald's, okay? So how would McDonald's recover that? Uh, let's try to find out, okay? So we have, here, uh, we have here as an example, so say for example, there's 4 million units of uh, products that were sold for an amount of 400 million pesos, okay? The, uh, the purchase premium equivalent to 280,000 units, for a total cost of 2.2 million, and then there's actual premium distributed to the customers of 120,000 units, and then, of course, based on historical uh, performance of the company, whenever they have this uh, kind of uh, promotion, promotional uh, activity, how many percent normally uh, would uh, eventually turn, uh, turn in their, uh, their uh, box stops or whatsoever that may be? So based on um, estimates of management, uh, they will have 60% of estimated redemption, okay? Now, and the customers need to, uh, to present 10 box stops of the item for, the, for them to be able to uh, be entitled to one uh, premium item, okay? So let us now try to make the entries for this transaction. So first, of course, the purchase of the premium, okay? So purchase of the premium. So what will be our entry? The bid, premium inventory and credit cash or accounts payable. For how much? That's 2,240,000. 2,240,000. Okay? So this is the entry for the purchase of the premium. Okay, next one is the sale of the product. Now, as I mentioned earlier, that premium item is not for free. It has a cost, so therefore, the company has to be compensated for the cost that they have incurred in uh, purchasing that product. So what do I mean? Now, there's a new uh, standard on uh, revenue recognition for contracts with customers. So based on that contract, based on that standards, then we have to allocate the, uh, the selling price of the item no? um, into two because essentially the company is selling two items. One is the main product and the other one is the premium item, okay? So here we have to allocate the 400 million to main product and the premium item, okay? Now if you want to look at this one, so there are two items being sold with just one basket price. Now recall your, uh, your um, financial accounting part one, say for example for fixed assets, wherein the company purchased various items under one basket price or lump sum price. There's the car, uh, a piece of land, and even a structure, okay, a building structure. So if this is the case, what, what, what do we do? We have to make an allocation, okay? So we allocate, allocate the basket price among the two items, which is the main product and the premium. That is what we are going to do. And the allocation shall be done based on the fair market value of the items, okay, involved in the transaction. Okay, let us now do the allocation because now we know that the 400 million sales proceed does not only pertain to the main product but also a portion of it is now for the premium, okay? So, for the main product, okay, so that's four, 400 million. How about for the premium? So, premium based on the, based on the uh, fair market value, okay. So therefore, 400, uh, sorry, 4 million units, okay, expected redemption is 60%. So therefore, how about 2.4 million, okay? 2.4 million is, ex is the expected number of box stops that will be returned to the company for the premium. Okay, so 2.4 million divided by 10, because they need 10 box stops, divided by 10, so this is equivalent to 240,000 units, right? So 240,000 units multiplied by, okay, multiplied by, okay, assuming that this uh, premium can be sold for 15 pesos on a standalone basis. 
meaning that toy can be sold. Just like what you're seeing in McDonald's, right? Uh, whenever it's already a face out, uh, face out um, promotional program, they tend to sell the items on a standalone basis. Okay, so times fifteen pesos. This will give you three three point six million. And so therefore, our ratio would be. So the 400 million will be distributed based on 400, okay, and the 3.6 million for the premium, okay? So for the main product, that would be 400 million divided by 403.6, okay? And for the premium item, that would be 3.6 divided by 403.6. So this will be our ratio that we will use in allocating the 400 million selling price. So this is multiplied by 400 million. So how much is that? Times, okay. 400 times 400 million divided by 403.6. Okay, so this is 396,432,111, okay? So with that, how much will be the share of the premium item? It's 403,000, okay, times 3.6 divided by 403.6. So this is 3 million, 3.6 times 400 divided by 3,567,889. So this is 3,567,889. Let's try to check if that is equal to 400 million plus 3,567,889. Okay, so this is 400 million. So out of the 400 million pesos, 396 would go to the main product and the 3.5 million is for the premium item. Let us now do that. Journal entry. So you have accounts receivable or cash for the 400 million. Okay, and then credit your sales for that for the share of 396 million 42 111. And of course, your unearned revenue. For premium claims for three million five hundred sixty-seven thousand eight hundred eighty-nine. Okay. So based on our on our entry, you will see that the uh, four hundred million sales is allocated between the sales and of course the earned revenue from the premium claims. Now, when are we going to recognize this as revenue? We will recognize this as revenue whenever there's actual redemption coming from that customers okay so we're done with okay we're done with this we're done with this we will now make an entry for the actual premium distributed okay so actual premium distributed is 120,000 so that's 120,000 multiplied by okay 15 is the standard loan price 15 so how much is that 120,000 times 15 that's 1.8 million pesos Okay, so therefore, they'll get your unearned revenue for premium claims, okay, amounting to 1,800,000 and credit your sales for 1,800,000. Okay, now let us recognize the cost of the premium that we have distributed. So therefore, the cost is 120,000 multiplied by the, how much is the unit cost? That's 2,240,000 divided by 280,000 units. So this is eight pesos per premium item, okay? So times 120,000, so this is 960,000 pesos, okay? So what do we have entry debit? Debit your cost of 
premium for 960,000 and credit your premium inventory for 960,000. Okay? So after doing those entries, let us now get the balances of the accounts. Okay, so first we have the premium inventory. Next we have the unearned revenue. And lastly we have the cost of the premium. Okay, so first entry the purchase of our premium inventory, the a debit of 2,240,000. So check, what else? Uh, recognition of the sale, part of the, uh, I mean the, the portion related to the rating to the premium, so that's 3,567,889. And then, okay, there's a debit of 1.8 on the online premium, debit 1,800,000. And then for the cost, there's a debit of 960,000. Okay, so how much is the remaining balance of our unearned revenue? Three five six seven eight eight nine minus one million eight hundred. So this is one million seven hundred sixty-seven thousand eight hundred eighty-nine. Okay. So when the company prepares the statement of financial position and the statement of income, they will show among the, the current assets of the premium inventory amount of two million two hundred forty thousand. Okay, and then in the current liability section, there's an earned revenue of 1,767,000. And in your statement of income, you'll have a, a, as part of cost of sales, is a cost of premium of 960,000. Okay, so this is the accounting for uh, premium items. Okay, so again, I'd like to thank you for bearing with me for this uh, uh, another lecture session uh, this afternoon. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you again in the next session. Bye.